Looks pretty cool sitting there, doesn't it? My home car is awesome. <laughs> um, gas stations. I've been to a few. What do you, uh, what do you think of Arco on <laughs> AMPM? I remember AMPM from growing up in California. Didn't know there was many in Oregon. And uh, ever since I started like traveling a ton, I've really been annoyed by AMPM. I know you probably don't think about gas stations and how which ones you like and don't like. But I'm annoyed by AMPM, their whole debit card thing. And in Oregon, they pump your gas and they usually take care of that, you know, like here, you pay them right there, but they still make you go inside. <laughs> so it's like all of the law, none of the convenience. I don't know, whatever. I just uh, try to stay away from AMPMs. But it looks good in the video, in the picture. But hot dang, look at that. That's 195 people. 195 for for propane. I should just get it just because I don't know how much I've used recently, but now I have no propane leaks. Alright, thought I'd uh, get out for a second and show you the wonderful world. Where is Johnny? Yeah. Um let's go in the middle of the road here. It was a nice little drive. I actually and I started in so much fog, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be impossible to take pictures of this much fog. And now here I got up into the mountains, and I'm like, oh, where's all the fog? That was sad. It was very moody and fun. All right. Well, not always the best place to park right on the middle of a hill. Get going. Well, now, don't you worry. I'm back in the fog. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's not making the roads icy. It's so cool looking though. Uh -oh. All right. Hey, my clean. We're back with my sister. <laughs> we're gonna go feed the animals. What do you have? What kind of animals? Rabbits and chickens. All right. on the farm. Let's see. Let's see the animals here. Hey there, guys and girls. Gals. These are Gals. the girls and the boys over there. They're separated. Oh, separation. You are sexist yet. family here. Not ready for little bunnies yet? Yeah, they have to be a certain age before Why they... Why did I come here to... Okay. Ooh, look at... You guys just want all the water in the world, don't you? Look at her. Look at... Oh. She's just like, I'm going to drink right from that container. <laughs> I want my own service there. So, so who's, getting the, who's getting the... Who's getting well, the vegetables? Well, everyone should. Just put some here for them. That's the best. We'll get... We'll spread even the chickens like it. Okay. Even the chickens. And this guy over here wants some too. Yeah. Hey, we care about you as well, don't worry. Yes, you're gonna help Let's give you some... bring us more. He's a little skittish. Yeah, he's very skittish. Dude, you gotta be confident. So here's the You'll stuff, never have we kids, had huh? these bottles with water. Uh huh. And they froze, oh. bam, gone, broke. I'm like, really, it's not that cold and fun. <laughs> So here's the funny story is when we got these we got <clears throat> two, some good looking ones. We got two roosters, right? And so mm -hmm. Rick who helped uh -oh, us. Where's the other rooster? We gave them to Rick. So oh, he helped okay. us slaughter a bunch of chickens in exchange for these. We just laid an egg. Oh no. <laughs> it was not a rooster. I gave the rooster laid them. an egg, huh? I gave it to Grandma. That one, that one does not go. There is Klamath Falls. That's like a high point here. It's kind of dead looking now. It is a terrible picture of the area. I mean, there's a cool house. Kristen is taking us on a tour of her favorite place in Klamath here. Oh, whatever. This is the slums of Klamath right here. Slums of Klamath. Hey, doggies. All right, where are we headed now? To the hospital. Why? Oh, it's in the hospital. Oh, well, yes. I don't know why she went and did that. Just get everyone all worked up. Gosh. She got a little clot in her lungs, which is really weird, because she says the two things that work really well are her lungs and her heart. Everything else is falling apart. Well, now um, it's in her lungs, too. So kids, hey, this is me speaking from the past. 
to you in the future. This is your grandma that you may or probably did not ever get to know. <laughs> Hi, what would you like to say to your future grandchildren? Oh, well, uh, I'm sorry <laughs> that your father took so long and <laughs> yes. getting married so that I had to miss out on meeting you. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, just stick with it a little while longer. I <laughs> promise. It's just it's just around the corner. Just around I'm the just corner. thinking, you know, like I just was I had to stay single to do this big year long project. I could yeah. have done that married. No. So now he's gonna so go now it's cruise. like God's like, Okay, we just needed you to stick around just to do this book. So, yeah. so now you just have to stick around just a little while longer. Uh huh. And then they have to be like five or six for them to have memories. So just a little while longer <laughs> plus six. That's all. In your dreams. <laughs> In your dreams. Yeah. I don't think that I will make it. Just a good seven years. That's all. Yeah. Seven. So you'll be 80? 80. Go when you're 80? 75 plus 7. Um, 82? 82. Dad's age? You can make dad's it to dad's age. now. Yeah. yeah, make it to what dad's age is. If I feel good, that would be great. So we yep. gotta go feeling good so she can enjoy those babies. Yeah. That you're gonna produce. <laughs> Right? Probably. You did you got three. That's uh, like that's how many of us there are. No. You have three kids, so that works. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. I gotta get me even another one. I was telling the young woman today in church, I'm like, there's nothing better than holding a baby. Baby. So, oh man, I need another one. <laughs> so wait, do you have another word for for them? Any insights? Grandmotherly advice, just in case. Just in case, huh? Well, no, I mean, just because... In case you never get to meet them. Right. And give them... In case they never even appear. <laughs> or or let's say you meet them and they want to just hear from you anyways once they're eight years old, ten years old. Huh. They're like, oh, what was Grandma like? Well, she wasn't as much fun as she used to be. That's <laughs> for sure. Let me tell you what she was like when I was little. Okay. We... She would love to go swimming, and she was the dolphin. And we would get on her backs, and she would swim through the pools with us on her back. Do you remember that at the Myers pool at all, Scotty? You're talking Mr. Memory King here. <laughs> Lost it all. Yeah, I remember the Myers pool. How, how old were you? I remember that, yeah. Uh, how old would have he been? He, I was junior high. He, that was in... I, I left that when I was in fourth grade grade. 85, 86. The Myers neighborhood? Wait, did we? Inscos were Fifth on grade. one side. Fifth grade? Yeah, because I went, we, I would lived in uh, Dartmouth, Dartmouth Street and went to when I was in there. fifth grade yeah. and sixth grade. Oh, okay. yeah. so At least I your, remember something. In what was your elementary school then? Uh, it was Sunnyside up until, fifth grade, until, up until fifth go? grade. Then I went to the one across the street. Yeah, it was very far away. I don't know, know what it's called. From Dartmouth? Yeah. There's the elementary school down there? Yeah. They're right across the street. Almost. Well, well almost. across the eight, 8th Street? Yeah. Yeah, across 8th Street and up the hill. Yeah. Promise. That's a memory I don't remember. I was too and busy. I can't remember the name. With your own life, she didn't care about me. <laughs> Never walked me to school. I had no <laughs> idea that like you that. went no. to school. Did you even mm -hmm. exist? Mm -mm. There? Okay, another thing? Another thing? Uh, what were you like when you were younger? How younger? Elementary it, school. How about, no, high school. high school. Me in high school? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Did you swim? No, Dying I didn't. Team. I didn't. Should have, but I didn't. I had more fun in junior high. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was. You remember junior high? Oh, yeah. It was great. It was in this old, old school building called Sloan Wallace. And it, in Waterloo. In Waterloo, Iowa. And went from seven, eight, and ninth grade, and uh, had a great time. It was, and I was voted most popular and best dressed. That's where I get it from. Oh, <laughs> I'm not the best dressed <laughs> today, though. Yeah. There you go. I got a bolo, huh? Uh huh. Is that Dad's or yours? That's no, mine. My first bolo tie. Oh. I bought it. Oh, Do you want me to show you how to wear it? <laughs> A pyre? A pyre, yeah. Yeah, whatever. 
Oh, yeah. That's the slacker look. Oh, no. Yeah. That's the cool dude way, huh? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's here now. Dad, Mom, everyone. Oh, we just had a wow. lecture by the doctor telling us about pulmonary embolisms. That's, I guess, what it's called. Clots in your leg. Clot in your lung. Becomes a clot in your lung. That's a pulmonary embolism. If it goes to your heart, it's called a heart attack. If it goes to your brain, it's called a stroke. It felt like I was in class. And we were learning lots and asking our, Here's the bathroom. Here's our the teacher bathroom. stuff. What did you learn, Kristen? What was I the most fun thing that, that you learned? Warfarin is the real drug. In warfarin. Coumadin, which I'd heard before. So Coumadin is like the brand name for the warfarin. Oh, okay. I didn't miss that part of class. Well, I saw warfarin, and I just thought maybe it was a different one as coumadin, but coumadin is the drug inside warfarin. No, no warfarin is the drug inside coumadin. Okay, whatever. Got it. And I didn't understand. She's gonna be all right though. She's gonna live. It's just a. Uh, so? Oh, what I learned was that it's the coumadin is a touchy, tricky. Kind of like you have to get updates and you kind of have to change things around. And uh, now we do this dosage. Now we do this dosage. What did you learn? What did I learn? Uh huh. I learned that you can come to a Coumadin clinic, which will make it easier. You'll learn more stuff and have people to help yeah. manage your. Your vitamin K. That's what I Ooh, learned. yes. Mm -hmm. Your vitamin K intake based on the foods you eat will affect your cumin in, intake or something like that. Yeah, so, kind of like, you know, all those years of watching House, I knew what I was talking about. I'm just joking. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't care. <laughs> so, hey, what's that other cat doing? Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, hey, you're back. Talkative one. <laughs> Cat videos. This is how I become famous, right? Cat videos? That's all that's required. I'm just, just turning it back to you. What's going on? We played an hour of Spot It. Didn't think it was possible. I know, I didn't that was fun. And Naya, the how old was Naya? Four. Four. Did really well. The game says seven, but if your four year old is smart, she can still play it. If she gets distracted easily, it's a little more difficult. Hey, kitty. It's a really small cat inside of this box. <laughs> Very unha unsatisfied cat she is. <laughs> She's weird. Oh yeah, go get oh, that. Got it. Run that round. And fight. Oh, good job. Oh, she's out of there.